Happy New Year! Welcome to 2018. My name is Kelly and welcome to the Diva Den where I like to talk all things home. Except today. Today I'm going to do something a little different and I wanted to share with you my favorite beauty makeup products that I loved in 2017 and I will continue to use in 2018. But before I go any further, I just want to say this is not a sponsored video. All products I have purchased myself, all thoughts and opinions are my own. Nobody is paying me to say anything about their products. Everything is my own opinion. Now another thing I wanted to share with you in this day of Instagram photos, Facebook photos, all that kind of good stuff, it's all great. But sometimes we get caught up in thinking we have to look like somebody or that you know because they're using something it must be fantastic everybody is different everybody is an individual so if you like a bright red lip rock it if you like crazy purple hair go for it beauty is meant to be individual everybody is different I have different skin type I have a different skin tone to the next person. What I like on me may not work for you and that's okay. Makeup and hair, it's all meant to be fun. So you rock what you love and don't let anybody tell you any different. So now that I've got that off my chest, I'll get off my soapbox and let's jump into the video, okay? So the first product I'd like to talk about is the eyes. and. I don't use a lot of eyeshadow. I don't have a lot of eyeshadows, but there's one kit that I purchased in 2017 that I am loving, and it's the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And why do I love it? Well, I love it because all the shades are matte. I find as I age, the shimmers and the frosts are not a good look for me, for me. So I love that this is all matte and they're all neutral colors so I can use this every day. I can use it to go to the office or I can smoke it up at night if I go on a date night with my husband and uh, it, it really works for all kinds of occasions and like I said they're all mattes, they're all neutrals so I'm really loving this kit. The Kat Von D Shade and Light. And in keeping with the eyes, mascara. I'm a L'Oreal mascara girl. Always have been, probably always will be. There's something about their mascara that just works for me. I have relatively sensitive eyes so I just find this mascara, whatever is in the formula, works for me. So I was really excited when I saw this new one in a pretty pink package and it's the Paradise Lash Mascara. Love it. I use the waterproof kind don't know why I'm all, I've always been a waterproof girl, but that's what I use. Um, I love this. It gives my eyelashes length and, and fills them in a little bit fuller. It doesn't clump. Really loving this mascara. So the Paradise Lash by L'Oreal. I'll continue. It's a great drugstore drug brand. Love it. Now face. I suffer from dark circles under my eyes and I'm always on the lookout for that beauty product that will miraculously make my dark circles disappear. I haven't found it yet, but I think I've come close. So I was at Sephora a while ago and the uh, young lady there recommended this one. It's the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. Love this stuff. Um, it's, I love the, the feel of it under my eyes. It's very lightweight. It's not heavy and cakey and I don't find it settling into my fine lines and wrinkles. Uh, I love the coverage. It's buildable so, you know, on some days I'll just dab a little bit on and other days I might go a little bit heavier but I find this is really helping to minimize my dark circles. It doesn't make them miraculously disappear. I'm under no illusion that that's going to happen, but I do find this is working for me. So I'm really liking that. Now to set the concealer, e.l.f. Love this stuff. This is their under eye brightening powder and I use this to set my concealer and it's phenomenal. For $3, you cannot beat it. It's a very light 
translucent powder. It, it feels great on the skin. It, it brightens the eye as it says it's going to do. So I'm finding with my new concealer and this magic little jar, it's a great combination and I'm really liking the way my under eye looks with it. So I'll continue to use those two. Lips. I love lipstick. I'm a lipstick junkie. If you could see my stash over there, you would laugh. Uh, I just love lipstick. Um, I think it can transform a look. You put on this bright red lip and it makes you feel different. It gives your face a different look. Love it. I love lipstick. So I'm really excited about the lipstick that I did find, but this is a lip pencil that I found at the drugstore. I didn't really know much about this brand and it's Essence, the Essence brand. So for, I think it's a $1.99 or $2.99, this is an amazing lip liner. Some lip liners, I'm not sure if you find this, but some I find very dry and when you're trying to apply them, they kind of pull and you just can't make them work very well. But this one, is amazing. It just kind of glides on your lips and gives you that perfect outline. And this one I have is in the color Soft Berry because I do wear a lot of berry colored lipsticks. I love it. Let's see if I can give you a little swatch there. See if you can see that color. It's such a pretty color. Really do like it. So this is a hit. Now this lipstick, this next lipstick that, uh, that I want to talk about that I love, not just for the feel of it on my lips, but the color and everything. When I went to Sephora to inquire about it, they looked at me like I had two heads. They had no idea what I was talking about. So I eventually did find it at Ulta. That seems to be the only place that have it. And it's this lipstick lip gloss combo. Love this. The lipstick is phenomenal. It feels like butter when you put it on your lips. I think I have it on now. This is in the color VIP and it's a beautiful nudey neutral color that I think would look great on every skin tone but it's the consistency of the lipstick. There are times I'm walking around and I go oh I forgot to put on my lipstick and I look in the mirror and I go oh no I do have it on. It just feels so lightweight but the, the color is amazing. But the other end, like I said, is the matching lip gloss. So for the price, you get two products in one. I love this. But like I said, Ulta have it. I have not, the Sephora in Canada, Sephora did not have it, so Ulta. And I'll try and leave links below of where you can find some of these products if you're interested. Uh, some of them are simply Sephora, some are on Amazon, some, you know, Ulta. But I'll try and remember to leave links below. But this one by Tarte in VIP, love it. Okay, let's move on to blush now. And I'm probably late in the game to some of these products, but hey, that's okay. At least I'm on the bandwagon now. But there's two blushes that I love that are like my everyday go-to blushes. And one, and I can't believe I never bought a MAC blush until, you know, 2017. Love this. This is in the color Melba. Not sure if you can see that. It's a beautiful, beautiful, peachy, bronzy, natural color. I love this for everyday wear. I, I think it looks good on all skin tones, on everybody. It just gives you a natural look. So I'm loving this. This is really my go-to blush every day. Love this, this color. Now the next one I just purchased and it's by Milani and it's called Romantic Rose. And look at this, this is so pretty. It lives up to its name, Romantic Rose. It's isn't that pretty? I, I just love that. Uh, but it's a beautiful pinky, mauvey color. So you can have your natural. So if you want a slightly different look, a more pinky flush look, you can use this color. I use this color. And for more natural looks, I go for this color. 
both are phenomenal and both the consistency is wonderful the color is the color pig pigmentation is wonderful love both of these so let's move on to skincare now I am always on the lookout for that product that's going to take 20 years off this skin haven't found it looking for that found of fountain of youth but some of the products I have here I'm finding are fighting the good fight but uh, <laughs> anyways let's get into it on my research on aging skin uh, about a year and a half ago I went through a little phase and my skin was awful I, I was devastated. I, I didn't know what to do. And I went into the drugstore, the poor girl there. She probably is still telling her friends about this crazy lady that came in because she came up to me and said, you know, can I help you? And I said, yes, fix this, fix this face. And uh, she looked at me with wide eyes, but it's a funny story now. But anyways, on my research on aging skin, I came across some products that I went, oh, okay, I didn't know about that and uh, some of them are drugstore finds and they are working for me and one of those lines was the CeraVe line I had seen these in my drugstore but didn't really know anything about them so after reading a, a few reviews I thought okay I'll give them a try and I really do like them so to take my makeup off at night I'll use the CeraVe foaming facial cleanser and what I love about this is it doesn't leave my skin feeling tight and dry after I wash my face. You know, some of those cleansers just seem to strip everything away and your face just feels so tight and dry. I find I, it, this doesn't happen to my skin after I use this, so I'm really loving this. And then their PM Facial Moisturizer. Now, I use this day and night. I have tried their day cream and it is great, but for me, their PM cream is phenomenal. I love the way it feels. I love the way my makeup goes on after I've used it in the morning. I just love the way it makes my skin feel. So I use this day and night. So with the cleanser and my night cream, I'll continue to use those. Now for under my eye area, I have found this other one called 100% Pure Coffee Bean Extract. Can you see that? I don't know if it's focusing, but I read a little bit about this too and I happened to stumble across it on uh, at my local health food store and I thought, okay, I'll give it a try. Love it. It is so moisturizing under my eyes and I am starting to notice a difference with the fine lines and wrinkles under my eyes. And I even think it's helping a little bit with the with the blue blueness under my eyes. I think it's it's helping it is helping to lighten it a little bit. I've been using this for the better part of a year. So like I said, I think a lot of these facial products you have to use for a few months to see if they work for you, to see the effects. And this one, I am loving. I will continue to use this. Now, like I said, I got it at my local um, health food store, but I know it's on Amazon, so I'll leave the link to that below. But 100% pure, loving this one. In my quest for that fountain of youth, I had read a lot about vitamin C and how good it is for aging skin. So I thought, okay, I'll try it. And I happened to be in Marshalls about three weeks ago, four weeks ago now, I guess. And you know, and their skin, they have a section where there's skincare products and stuff. So I saw this nice, pretty little jar and it's vitamin C. I don't even know who makes this. I'll look at, uh, I'll check it out and see if I can see a name on it and leave it below. But it's just vitamin C cream. So I thought, okay, I'll give it a try. Love, oh, I love the scent of it. It, it smells really nice. But do you know, after using it for a few short weeks, I am actually, I think I'm seeing a difference in my skin tone. It, it, it's, when I cleanse and then tone and put this on at night, my skin glows. So I am really, really happy with this. Uh, I, I will continue to use this. Hopefully I can continue to find this product. I'm sure most vitamin C creams are similar. But this one I am loving. So vitamin C cream, 
in some form will continue to be in my skincare regime in 2018. This next product, I love. Mario Badescu. Is that how you say it? Badescu? The rose water spray. If I could bathe in this, I would. I love this stuff. I don't know what it is about it, but when you spritz it on your face, your face just seems to come alive. It just it, it just feels so invigorating and and just wonderful on my skin. I, I, I love it. So I'll cleanse, I'll spritz, I'll moisturize, I'll spritz. But you know what else I found it's been really good for? As a setting spray for my makeup. I have found on the days when I use this as a setting spray, after I've applied all my makeup and I spritz my face with this, my makeup stays on better that day. So, double bonus. Not only is it a great toner, I'm using it as a makeup setting spray and I love it. My next purchase will be the big bottle. It won't be the little bottle because I'm going through it like crazy, but love this stuff. Like I said, if I could bathe in it, I would. Now, this. Morphe brushes. Need I say any more? I know I'm late in the game on these. I've been hearing and reading about them for years, about how good they are. So in the fall, I broke down and I purchased three. I gave one to my daughter, and I think I gave her the foundation one. She phoned me as soon as she had used it and said it's the best thing she has ever used. So I was really excited to try mine. I got the R40 and the R13. The R40 I use for my eye shadow in my crease or as a blending brush. The R13 I use with my e.l.f. setting spray and a, a setting powder and I set my under eye concealer with the powder with this brush. I find it's a perfect shape for under my eye. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I am a Morphe brush girl. I'm a convert. They're phenomenal and for the price of them they're amazing. Love these brushes. I think in 2018 I may purchase a couple more. Love them. Now the last product I'm going to talk about is a hair product and it's one I've been using for the better part of the year and uh, I got this at I think last Christmas and uh, it's the Living Proof Amp Volumizer and I'm telling you it lives up to its name Amp. It is amazing. It's this white paste. You can see uh, I'm almost out but it is amazing. I don't use it every day but on the days that I use it, what a difference in the way my hair behaves. So as you can see, I have a shorter haircut now. Uh, my hair was a little bit longer and I used it then too. And what I would do is I would turn my hair upside down. I get a little bit in between my fingers, rub it and then put it through my roots and flip my hair back. And I looked like a crazy lady because I had hair everywhere, but it works. Amp. And I use it now in my shorter hair. It works just as well. And I find even on the days when I have it in and maybe my hair is looking a little flat, I'll just run my fingers through my hair again. And it almost wakes the product up. And it just gives it that little bit of lift again. It's amazing. So Living Proof Amp, definite, definite repurchase once I get through this. And that's going to last me a long time because you don't need very much of that. So, amazing product, love it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video on my favorite beauty products. Um, like I said, everybody's different. What works for me may not work for you. But remember, makeup, hair, it's all meant to be individual and have fun with it. Go for it. You, whatever you like, you do. And don't let anybody else tell you any different. 
it's it's supposed to be fun it's supposed to be individual we're all different in so many ways but that's what makes this world go around and it's fantastic so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'll give it a thumbs up before you go and subscribe by hitting that red button below. I'd love to have you become a diva and join the family. And once again, Happy New Year. I hope 2018 is fantastic for you. I'm so excited for 2018. I think it's going to be a good year. Go rock it with your big hair, your bold lips, whatever you like. And until next time, guys, I hope you have a fabulous week. Bye, you guys.